I have a gamer. Okay, finally, we are back in here. We've got sudden death. We got mother. This game is not going to take long for anything, so don't worry about it. So this game is going to be a this race. Yes, it will. And uh, now just everybody starts with Aroton Center probably and we all die or somebody appears in the middle of the water and he cannot do anything. But okay, looks like, look, why would we start with, why would you start with a Siege Orager? Why would you return to map? Why would you start with a Siege Orager? And why so close to each other? Where is the wood? <laughs> this map is horrible. Oh my god, this map is horrible. This map is a disgrace, guys. This is going to be ending faster than it starts. <laughs> oh my god! I will, I will try to introduce the players as fast as I can. First, we're playing as a deal in Mongols, we got X Factor. Oh! Shimona! Welcome to the IU! And let's sing it for you right now! Subscribe! Oh, it's been a long time, man. It's been a long time. Shimona! Oh, David gave him! <gasps> Thank you, David! It's been a long time! So anyways, introducing first uh, as the teal Mongols we got X Factor, playing as the purple Britons we got Luke, playing as the yellow Saracen we got the Otter, playing as the as the as the red France we got Euro, playing as the grey Spanish we got Jovia, playing as the as the green Tigers we got Proper, playing as the orange Mayans we got Hoyo, subscribe! Oh David! The hype is back, it's David! It's freaking David! Oh my god! Oh, oh my god, okay good. Let's just uh, let's just cast this. There are there are a lot of uh, there are a lot of uh, a lot of what? These are guy villagers. This are guy. Oh my God, David again! <laughs> David. Oh David, thank you, man. Subscribe, and so welcome to the IU again. My God, this is like the good old times. Remember the good old times when David was here every day. Oh my god, David! Thank you very much, man. Thank you a lot. Thank you a lot. And, and everybody should thank you as well. But anyways, uh, let's, let, let's see this. So everybody started here with uh, two Siege Onagers. Siege Onagers! Siege Onagers! They are not just Onagers. They are Siege Onagers. And right here, whoever loses the Siege Onager is dead. Yeah, probably. Well, now looks like... Plopper says GG. What? What did I see? Did he lose his two Onagers? Probably he did. Because that is no, that, there is no way that he would uh, say uh, that. Uh, you know what? Maybe somebody should go outside and try to look for something. Because there are billions scattered around the map. And somebody could just take them uh, or, or even explore them. Do they even have a, a scout covering? Yes, they do. And uh, nobody looks like... Oh, look at that. We got a billion here from, from, from uh, Joby. Joby is just trying to look for something. But there is not a... Oh my god, there we got a wolf. And this guy girl has loom. So she's going to survive. So... Oh, Funny Liquid as well is there! David, thank you very much! Oh, David! Funny! Subscribe! Welcome! I get to the IO. SO Battle! I do not see any SO Battle. There was one. Oh my god, okay. Luke is dead. Luke is dead. Unless. Oh, did he look his, his uh, two season? Yeah, he lost them. Okay, it's over. It's per okay, okay. There, there we go. Oh! That was close. Um. Well, I, I don't... Oh, well, that was bad. And now we got this villager here that is dead as well. Will he make it? Even if he does, then this cavalry will kill it. Okay, no, never mind. Um, Luke is going to just move away, and if this town center goes down, then the game is over for this guy. Luke has now resigned because everything is now over for him. Uh, now we got Joby on this side just making another house and trying to look for a little bit of... Uh, of, uh, of uh, of trees or wood even. I wonder somebody if if they explored all this area, they could just try to build over these trees and make them disappear. It would be horrible, but it is still a possibility. Nobody has has found the villages that are outside, somewhere around here. But okay, it's fine. So we got jungle trees in the middle of the, of the snow. Why? I don't know, but we just do. X Factor now, of course, is happy that he has killed one person, and here we will have no neighbors, which means that he will be able to grow. I don't know if he will be able to grow because there is no wood in here. There is a lot of gold though, there is a lot of food, there are relics, but there is no wood. He has houses in here, of course, that is good. He has jerks even. Euron is laughing, he's crap. Oh, look at that! We have now a battle here between the other and uh, Euron. How have you been doing, uh, David? It's been a long time since I haven't seen you. I was going to... Oh, that was bad! But okay, you uh, Berak, Berak, no, yeah, 
The other just lost 3 million right there. Well, there is only one Sishon in right here that can be repaired, of course. But this map is just a disgrace. And uh, people are going to just be like, dude, I don't know what to do. Um, okay, right here we don't have a battle yet. We don't have a battle here. Nobody has found the villagers that are scattered on the map. And we will see now Yobi coming up onto this side, try to kill Ploppers. Ploppers, I'm so sorry, man. I'm so sorry. Oh, he, he's moving. Okay, he could just try to kill this this is only with his villagers. Uh, I don't know if he will try to do so, but uh, uh, yeah, he's going to now move back. And I do not think that we have another battle except for this one, of course. This is just just trying to defend from it. Oh, trying to defend from this area. This Scott Cavalry has no way. Oh, the other here with the epic micro. Maybe he should move two of these. Oh, of course, now, of course, Verak, or the other, being attacked by two people, uh, Loppers decides to resign, because he lost units on this side, and he was also being attacked for some reason by Yobi on this area. Of course, Yurong now claiming, no, no, Yurong, Hoi, claiming a victim. Yurong, of course, now losing a, oh, losing a Cisrone, but he killed the other one in the... Uh, in the process. Anyways, there is still one Siege Orion right here, and I wonder, if Verac just decided to explore the map, he will find a lot of villagers to fight with. Sadly, that is not what will happen. Enzo must be laughing in his chair right now, thinking that this is all he's doing. All his, uh, this is all his fault. All this that is happening right here is, is a... Is a oh, and they are close! They are actually going to try... Oh, look at this, the, the attempt. The attempt at the, at, at, the, at the killing. Maybe somebody, some of these guys should try to kill this repairer. But now, this order is trying to be repaired by X-Factor. Of course, there is a Scott Cavalry as well. But this Scott Cavalry doesn't have enough HP to just uh, support that uh, attack or whatever. All is well with you. It's kind of okay, I would say. Now that I am uh, back into streaming. Uh, well, not, not that I left, but but, but still, not, not that I'm here. Uh, now, a lot of repairs are going to come all the way in here to try to repair uh, this right now. And the, yeah, yeah, well, it was close. It was close. At some point, it was close. But now, yeah, there, there is no way that the other will end up killing this uh, Swiss owner here. Does he have any other villager here? No, he doesn't. But he could have more if he looked around the map and tried to get uh, some of them onto this side. We got one barracks in place here. Of course, Ploopers is now led, which means that he will not be the recipient of this attack right here onto the side with oh we got another dead villager well this is all here is now uh, free to do whatever it pleases but yeah never let Enzo choose settings yeah I know man but yeah <laughs> David must be laughing in his chair because of course that is what he does when, we, when he sees people in pain that is what he loves such a sadistic guy onto the side we've got of course Hoy not coming with his siege owner do we have any other kind of battle? apparently not uh, right here of course X-Factor now is going to have to fight against uh, against Hoy and yeah he is, uh, this guy just came made one attack onto distant center and now he's moving away of course this is uh, this is some interesting uh, settings for a uh, for a sudden dead map, really interesting, starting with two Siege Orioles, damn it. It's not only one, but yeah, you have double the, double the, double the Siege Orioles, double the fun. This guy, Siege Orioles, is walking back into his base because it's the only one that uh, we have right now. And of course, Mayans, uh, uh, I don't think that they have Siege Orioles, so they will have to be very careful with that one he has. Of course, I have to tell you guys something. If any of these guys research Orioles, this is Orioles will revert back to Orioles. Why? No idea, it just does. To the side, of course, taking two white balls at the same time. All, uh, both of them are going to be killed. I wonder if... Oh my god, that was bad! Is this a... Well... You know what? Maybe this is earlier could attack this wild boar or close to it to just make it lose a little bit of HP and then just finish it with some villagers. That wouldn't be a bad idea. On to the side, we got Hoy making barracks now on the field of Asian So it's X Factor, who's probably going to try to make a fast castle as soon as. Oh my lord! He, th there's a lot of these villagers. There, uh, as far as I can see, there were two villagers killed by this boar all along, and yeah, the boar is now finally has now finally been killed. On to the side, we got Berak with only two villagers. It if Berak decided, or well, uh, Diotter decided to come, well, where are more, no, he doesn't have more, <gasps> yeah, no, not there, well, where are more villagers, it looks like there are not many villagers around him, but there are villagers outside in the open that somebody could take, and who is that somebody going to be, probably Joby has some of those, he's making a lot of buildings all around the map to see what they can find all around there, X-Factor now making a blacksmith, probably we were going to see a market soon as well, if he gets the stone, the stone, no, the, the wood, to use that, but where could he, can he find wood, because market, of course, is going to, why do you have a lumber camp, market is going to be, 
a really important building right there. There is a mining camp in place. He'll probably to make, I don't know what he's going to make, but because there is no wood anywhere else. Well, there is a little bit of wood in there, but I don't know if uh, X Factor will just go for that. If, if somebody made farms here, I'm going to just uh, go out of my house and go kill them, whoever it is. But anyways, is this guy coming? Oh no, yeah, he's just trying to take a little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, a little bit of wood. This is a nice uh, a nice way to attack. Making skill cavalry that only cost uh, uh, that only cost food. That is good. You cannot you cannot defend against this with pikemen or well spearmen because they cost they cost wood. So now trash is actually not trash. It's actually really. Um, really expensive. Look at that siege on here from Hoy about to probably attack. Oh no, okay, this is not going to end well. We have an eagle scout right here that is going to make some damage and if this siege on here is lost, then all hope will be lost and that is it. Why? Because there was not enough wood to repair this siege on here. Probably there was not enough gold or, or something, but yeah, the on here is dead and probably that means the end for Hoy onto his side. Of course, there is a wedge tower being placed up onto the side. How much wood was taken from this it was 70 apparently, so that means that this guy can only make uh, so many uh, watchtowers that cost 50 wood in total. One wood rounds out, so does food. Really? I don't think so, because there is a lot, there are a lot of, uh, of uh, deer outside, as you guys, as you can see here and here. The, the problem is that wood is just not accessible. <laughs> Look at that! There, is, there are just so few trees all around this place. This map is horrible. I wouldn't want to be playing on this map. Anyways, this is the only kind of attack we see right now. In order to make this watchtower have more range, you would have to make a blacksmith, which is a huge inversion with 150 wood that is not avail available anywhere. Yomi now making the best out of this place, taking a lot of wood from this side, but he will not make uh, he will not make a lumber camping here. Why would you waste 100 wood? That is a lot. That is a huge commodity right now. On to his side, looks like this militia found some villages that were all around with 25 HP only, because of course they are there. And what will you don't find after that? Look at that, there are billions scattered all around the map. I wonder what we got Hoy exploring all this place. He made a lumber camp here. I don't know why he did that. Anyways, this, this watchtower should be deleted now. Yes, I, I believe it was. Okay, two, two, well, not, not two, four arrows coming, oh, coming from this, uh, from this watchtower. Well, five probably, but yeah. What you need to do right now, uh, when playing as the Mayans, there is not much really that, that can be... <gasps> if this Siege on Iron dies, then there is no way that this can attack can continue. Okay, it's going to be repaired. Well, that was bad. That was bad. It could have been uh, good, but it, it was not. Euron now, just taking all these villagers here with his militia, just decided to com to just convince everybody to join him, and they could not say no, because war or law is the word of God. Wood is the new gold. It is the new gold. Well, it's not the new gold. It is gold. Well, yeah, yeah you, you, actually, you, actually, you actually make sense with what you say. So, anyways, anyways, I think that maybe destroying buildings is not the best thing, because you can convert them once you reach the castle age, if you ever reach the castle age. <laughs> that is X Factor here just uh, playing uh, yeah, yeah he's, he's doing good the problem is that he will need some uh, more wood of course there is wood here there is wood here that can be taken and uh, and make making like a market wouldn't be that bad this guy is on castle age which means that he cannot make a castle he has enough to do that but what can he make out of that castle he cannot make mangula that costs a lot of wood there is now a castle being placed to the side I think that the castle should have been placed somewhere around some enemy I don't know who but some enemy you don't hear play he's making farms you don't is making farms guys this is Either stupid or flexing. <laughs> I believe it's the second. He's just flexing the amount of wood he has. Of course! Of course! Of course. Anyways, there is a market in here, which means that probably uh, this guy will buy a lot of wood in there and. I don't know what he will do, but, but, but uh, probably some rounds or, or, or mangoes even. But yeah, um, you don't. I. I don't know what to say, man. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Hoy is now dead. Yeah, he doesn't have a situation here. He doesn't have wood income. He could buy some, but it would still... Maybe it is... Uh, maybe it is... Uh, it is too expensive now. Does he have plus one? Yes, he does. But you know, what the hell are you doing, man? He's on the castle age as well. His castles cost less than anybody else's. So, yeah, this uh, could be... This could be a good... Uh, 
good for him. He can make a castle and then some throw axemen that have bonus attack against buildings. And yeah, these farms are now gone. What is next? What is next? They are, they are gold miners now. Okay, good. Since you only have gold. Yeah, finally, good. That's what I was saying when I talked about a uh, hobby destroying one uh, building somewhere around here. But yeah, a lot of, a lot of these buildings have not been found. Looks like... Are these converted? No, they are not. But Hoy just was looking around for some wood and there was no wood to be found. Well, there is. But, but it's not just a lot. The most, uh, the, the guy who had the most amount of wood... Okay, of course, why not? Destroy the wood. Yeah. Yeah, x -Factor, of course. J just destroy the wood. That was... Uh, that, was <laughs> that was not the most intelligent thing to do. Uh, what would be intelligent, anyways, would be to make a monastery and then make a monk and convert this lumber camp. Of course, that would cost a lot of gold, but whatever. These guys are builders, and they are going to probably build a lumber camp here, which is not a good idea because you only have 400 uh, wood. Yeah, it's not it's not the best thing. But access GG. What well, floppers? Floppers? No. Uh, the other says GG. Now, uh, but but you you died quite some time. Uh, guys, quite some. You you have been killed for quite some. Time already! Oh, this this uh, if this one here was killed by a zombie player, it would have been amazing. It was not. Look at the amount of wood that is here, and you can get at least one wood from destroying this palisade walls. Uh, Otter, what well, Otter has been defeated? Oh, I thought you were ploppers. God damn it! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Otter. I didn't think. I didn't see this. Oh well, I thought you were ploppers for for quite some time, but okay. Uh, Otter is dead. I'm sorry. I failed as always. And on to this side, Euron has farms. He has. Uh, so, what palaces walls? These ones. You could get one wood from deleting these ones. <laughs> but okay. Since earlier, now just roaming around here for X Factor, who has a castle. What is inside this castle is the question. I have no idea, but there is something inside. Uh, there is a mill being placed onto this side. I don't know. Oh, in order to make a. In order, why two mills though? Well, you need a mill in order to make a market, so one would be enough. Well, okay. I just had made them against a wolf. Yeah, but just one wolf? Is it... Well, looking at this map, I think that it's justifiable to, to waste so much wood on, on one wolf. Probably Petard says finally good. Yeah, that actually makes sense. In taking into account the amount of wood that he's getting from this side extractor, yeah, he will make some Petards. Six Petards would be enough, but who is he going to attack? We got Euron on to this side, who is... Uh, Kind of protected, it would be better protected if, if he had a castle somewhere around here. Um, Joey could be attacked, no, he can't because there is a castle right here and probably some petards coming out from there as well. And these guys are the only three players that are alive. So, so uh, who is going to be the first dead? Probably it's going to be Euron because he only has two towers and nothing protecting his town center. Uh, okay, then we got, we got uh, just a moment of peace right now. Probably people cannot make ballistic because it's 300 wood and 200 wood for an university. Uh, people have not discovered these nomadic villagers outside the map. They would have been good to attack or whatever. But yeah, it was uh, it was interesting. Anyways, there is now, of course, making a, a lumber camp right here. Uh, Euron has seen this and now he will see that X Factor is right here. Of course. Uh, where is that beauty, beautiful one? Where is that strong siege order? Is right there. You know what you could do? You could come here and, and just uh, take this or destroy it. But no, he will not do that. He will just take as much wood as he can. Being, a, being an X Factor, of course, he will try to do his best with that. Siege order now has been placed onto this area. What's the wood cost? I have no idea because I do not have a market. And this is not on, uh, on the spectator mode. Anyways. Lopper is having his town center destroyed, even though he's already dead. And as, as I was saying, probably the only the only dead guy is going to be... Uh, okay, Jurgen is now making a castle right here. So it's fine. On to this side, of course, now a lot, yeah, all this wood has already been taken. So where are you going to go now, Jurgen? You have... Is he making... He's remaking his farms! Does he have auto seed on? Because if he does, that is a waste. A huge waste. Oh, well, there was a monastery there. And, uh, yeah, the, the, we got we got Joey now running, running, roaming around just to see where he can find a little bit more wood. I think that maybe here would have been a better place. But, okay. And, and not because it is a strategic place, but because there is just... Uh, you, you would waste less wood like that. So, it's factor with petards. We've got probably Euron with petards eventually that only costs full of gold. We've got petards here from Joey. Unless they are conquistadores, that would be uh, golden food as well, but okay, it's fine. 
Right here, Hoi is dead. Thor's been killed by this Zonier, and there is not much that can be done about anything that is happening. In order to kill any of these guys, you will have to either come from this side, be really sneaky, because all this place is seeable. Then, in order to kill Jovi, you will have to go... Wait, where is Jovi? Okay. You will have to come all the way from this side, but in order to do so, you will have to explore a lot. There are some skull cavalry here, just protecting everything. There are some nomadic pillars that nobody has decided to take yet, or well, to, to, to get yet. We have Duron here with farms, something that I do not understand. Maybe he was just flexing, no idea. There is a new builder right there that is going to build some uh, stone walls around his town center because nobody wants to die, but they will die eventually. These walls are going to be really costly if he really wants to make them because you can come all the way here and then you have to go all the way this if there if this is not possible. Euron is on the Imperial Age. Trebuchets, and and then just imagine this guy makes a trebuchet and then walls the trebuchet while he's attacking. Oh boy, that would be amazing. Anyways, now right here we got X Factor still just not doing much. We got Euron on the Imperial Age. He's the only one on the Imperial Age. So let's just wait and see how this will go. Of course, you cannot place a you cannot place a wall in here because there is a little bit of ice right there. You can, however, place a wall back onto this area. You can wall all this. This cannot be walled, but you can wall one tile after. Oh, okay, it's walled by this uh, stable. And here you could just just go all the way like that. It is uh, difficult to wall, but it's still possible. So good luck with that. Will we see? Uh, a trebuchet is coming from this side? Well, we would if there were no farms being created. Of course, being France, your farms will be automatic up automatically upgraded, but that is really not a uh, reason to do this. Of course, now monks are going to be the main army here, and we got a trebuchet. We got a trebuchet. One trebuchet and one builder. Of course, uh, as I said before, maybe if this trebuchet attacked and somebody walled this trebuchet, then that would be a good thing. However, this could be either Pretars or Genovicus Woman. I doubt they are a Genovicus Woman. The reason why I doubt that is because they cost wood, and you cannot just be wasting wood happily like that. Knights now being placed to the side. Farms in here. Well, probably is the only way to get food right now. If uh, Yeah, probably is the only way to get food. Well, okay, farms are now justifiable. But you can buy it, though. You can buy it. Oh, look at that. There are some villages here with just 25 HP, which means that they have been found because he, this guy has loom already. So yeah, he, they were found with some uh, with this uh, scout. That it's, uh, I don't know. Oh look at that! We got now Yobi onto his side that now has found these villagers. And yeah, there are a scout around the map. So somebody. Oh, cool. there, there it is. There it is. Okay. Knights. It probably some petards as well. We got a castle and a trebuchet. We've got monk. So probably Jovi is going to be, is going to be in the receiving end of this uh, of this attack. There are a lot of monks coming. Hopefully this guy has a theocracy, theocracy that will be okay, that will be good. But but how is this attack going to proceed? Losing this trebuchet would be horrible. That is two hundred wood. Look at that. Okay, they they can see this castle. Will this trebuchet be attacked? Why houses? Why not stone walls? They are cheaper at this point. Oh, attack the castle. Why not? Okay, conquistadores. Okay, conquistadores. That is not good. Yeah, conquistadores can just take this down, but they will. That is 25 wood that is going to be lost. 25. If, that, if these guys have redemption, and I think Franks do. And two shots. Two shots. Another shot, and yeah, that's it. 200 wood lost. Oh! What a lucky shot! Anyways, expect <laughs> you're laughing because, of course, how can you not laugh at this? But there is another trebuchet now being placed. Well, then, of course, delete your house! Of course, delete your house! Says. Oh man, that is weird. Anyways, there is now one X Factor collecting all the relics he can, being attacked by a wolf. With a villager that has 40 HP, so it's fine, I guess. It can now fight back because it's not under the hill anymore. And uh, and uh, yeah, that, that that that's it. Another castle been placed in here because there is a lot of a lot of stone. Well, there was a lot of stone. What, what the hell is the stone now? Well, the stone is gone. There is no more stone. But what what we do have is cheaper castles, so yeah, it's fine. Um, now it's time to attack, dude. You kind of have to attack this town center. I think that is better because it will not cost. It, it will only cost twice the amount of wood. And it's hard to repair that. 
Yeah, this castle is about to go up, so maybe taking down this trebuchet would be a good idea. Look at that! There is the siege orager. Attacking this village wouldn't be that bad of an idea. But anyways, if this uh, if this happens again, I mean, this trade happens again, then, then, then I will be pretty, uh, pretty amazed. Oh boy. Yeah, this castle can be repaired for quite some time. But this town center cannot. Remember that in order to repair a town center, it will not cost you stone as long as you have one stone, but it will cost you twice the amount of wood. But to decide extractor just living in a prayer, he is fine to not be fighting with anybody, but petards will come. Petards will come. And yeah, there we go. The town center has been attacked by uh, the job town center has been attacked. And there is something that you have to do right now. You have to make a choice. You have to make a choice. And the choice is to die, because there is no way to stop this right now. Of course you can try to, re to repair it all you want, but it's not going to happen because there is not enough wood to do so. Or is it? Okay, it's gone. Joby is dead. Joby is dead. And now this is a 1v1. There we go. Looks like X-Factor was waiting for this moment. He has six petards right here. Maybe he should... Yeah, he needs more. He needs more if he wants to take this town center down. He will need more than just six because a lot of them are going to die on the way. And he might have enough to do so because he has food, he has gold, he has food, so he can make more than just these petards. And there we go, extractor now coming here. And he will see this castle. Of course, you have to avoid this. You have to avoid this. You can enter here, but yeah, it's going to be really hard. It's going to be really hard. Looks like Euron is going to just uh, try get all his villagers here to try to repair this in case something bad happens. And something bad is coming his way. We got Knight, we got six uh, six uh, petards coming up into this area. The destruction of these uh, things, well, it's not going to be that, that, that important, really. But anyways, Hoi, well, Hoi no. Uh, X-Factor here with uh, some uh, some relics. Look at that, the amount of relics that this guy's getting. He's going to try to get all the relics for him, and that will, and that means that he will have a lot of gold. Maybe he can buy a little bit of wood with that. And the right here is a dead Ornager. But look, he died because of Scott Cavalry. Oh, there are the there are the petards. These guys are the MVPs right there. These guys, but they will survive apparently. No, they will not. Oh well, they, they will, they will, they will. It's fine. We've got now two monks in here. Okay. Everything good. I believe that you have to repair this, uh, that you have to heal these guys. Let's wait and see which one is the one that was uh, attacked. It is one. Okay, let, let's just wait and see. And do these guys have to be repaired? Do these guys have to be... No, these guys uh, have to be killed, right? Even though they are six weapons. The only, the only other six weapon that can be healed is uh, Ballista Elephants. Yes, they can't six weapons. So, Euron, what is the plan? He has two trebuchets, right? Yeah, he has. He has two. He has farms as well. And uh, what he can do is like go all the way here, probably. No, he can't. He has to make an, an, an attack, as, well, heavy attack or whatever. Um, you don't, you don't know, Extractor probably might want to advance to the next stage. That will cost him a lot because food is now a problem. It's an issue. There is, There are not many places with food. No, there is. there are no places with food on them. As I can see, nope, there is no food anywhere, just walls with zero food. Well, I wonder if uh, you know we go with the crazy idea of making 10 trebuchets somehow, uh, he will not be able to, to, to get 10 trebuchets, but yeah, he can go with these trebuchets and try to just kill whatever he can. There are monks now, and this is a nice, uh, a nice uh, army composition for a Euron, of course. This is not petard, okay. We've got now this trebuchet advancing. We got villagers to repair the trebuchet in case something bad happens. Because bad stuff will happen. We got a lot of knights that can be converted. Look at this. This is the clash. Of course, these guys will not be able to see this coming, but uh, you don't will know what to do because these monks have a lot of uh, of uh, line of sight. They have line of sight. Oh no! Looks like Extractor can actually see this because he has an outpost right there, and there is a castle. Of course, this trebuchet is going to die. Why would you put it here in the front? No idea, but it is... Oh, okay then. It's going to just stay there. And now the petards are going to be used against the trebuchet. God damn it! Two shots! There we go. One and another one. And a second shot. That's it. That is what you need. And this castle will happen. This castle might actually happen. Yeah, it will happen. But the trebuchets are dead, and that was a costly loss for a... for a Euron. That is 400 wood. That is a lot. I don't know what is the price of wood right now, but it's a, 
It's a lot. Of course, one of the petals just had to explode here because you needed to do something with that to not, in order not to waste it. Exoto could make a lot of petals, maybe like, uh, let, let, let's see, let's imagine if this guy had 20 petals, he could just walk freely here and take down the stone wall. However, I don't know what his economy looks like, so he, uh, so we don't know what, what's going to happen. Of course, this castle does not have modern homes. That is 200 food, 100 uh, stone and a university. Do we have a university? We don't. What we have is a dead, a dead uh, urum. This attack looks so promising. Would have been, uh, would have been good. Sadly, oh wow! Dead trebuchet right there. Dead trebuchet. C convert. Maybe convert it would be a good idea. Convert. Well, dead trebuchet. Bad, 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 bad. bad. Okay. No more holes. Means dead castle probably. And there's a university, of course. Now. Okay. At least two of these guys are going to die. Well, three, four, five. Oh, okay, they did not make it. Well, that's bad. That is bad. Uh, this is a, a weird battle. The reason of that is uh, that there is uh, no economy for doing anything, really. As I said, the only way... I think that at this point, it is uh, easier to buy food instead of uh, instead of making farms. I believe. I believe uh, that wholeheartedly. Look at this girl! Making uh, making uh, stone walls here to try to repair this castle. Just to repair it in, uh, until he has more health. Of course, I think that he might have more health right now. Just uh, 100, uh, 100 stone, 200 wood, as, as stated be 200 food, as, as stated before. And that's it. That's all he needs. If this survives until that point, then it's going to be fine. Fun. Fine. Whatever. Oh boy. I wonder, is there any, is there any more? Yeah, there's gold right here, but nothing else. Really, no, nothing else. Okay, th this guy decided to run away. And you know what you could do? You could put that trebuchet somewhere around here and wall it with, with stone walls. That would be uh, nice. Look at that. There are now two, three knights even that have been converted for Euron. And a lot, well, some petards even. Uh, looks like X Factor doesn't have, or does not have, more health either. These guys are coming all the way from where? <laughs> from, from here to get, a, to get some... Uh, to get some uh, some wood. Well, good luck. Look like a comparator is coming. Oh my god, that's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of uh, sounds or whatever. Yeah, this should be walled and then put a trebuchet. In oh, why would you let it out? Why would you let it out? Well. Will it survive? Dude! No, okay, it will not survive. Yeah, well... Dead castle... Dead traps... That's... Costly. X-Factor is on Imperial Age. What can you do there, uh, besides traps? What can you do? No idea! Um, probably Cavalier? Probably some defense or whatever. Or his knights. That are... <gasps> Look at this. X-Factor with everything right there. You don't shoot a kind of a... He has some uh, relics. But he, this guy could just come here, take a little bit of this stone, take a little bit of this gold as well. That is from the dead people around the map. Wouldn't be that bad of an idea, really. He could grab it all for himself. And probably stop X-Factor from, from getting, uh, from getting uh, them as well. We got X Factor, of course, taking food, wood from the other side of the world. Look at this guy, zero, uh, zero. Oh no, zero. For a moment, I thought it was zero, zero wood, but it's not the case. It's just that. So I wonder how much wood can these guys gather? There was twenty. Oh, okay, I cannot see that. Okay, monks in there. We've got castle here. We probably want trebuchet inside that that this guy doesn't want to lose. And now castle being placed up onto this area. Looks like Mangudai. That is a lot of wood, man. <laughs> that is a lot of wood. This bad boys cost uh, 60 wood, if I'm not mistaken. Let's check that out. Let's double check because I'm always wrong. The caster is always wrong. 44 wood, okay. 44 wood. Well. Whew, now it's time to take this gold. Are you going to make a mining camp here? 
He is. Okay, then he is going to make a money up there in order to take this gold. But it would be a problem just to walk so from so far away. But anyways, if this was so, if this was not sudden death, this would take a long time. But yeah, we at least have a, one way to. <laughs> he could convert these guys. We have a way to to end this uh, some. Um, how, like over here from X Factor, just exploring to see what he can find, and he will find nothingness besides this. Look at that! This is finally all—it's almost closed, almost closed. You could like come here and then come here, but I, I don't know if that's a, if that's the, the, the idea behind this. There is just one door you could say here, but okay. There is a lot of gold coming, and now we have this story next month with. Oh, look at these conquistadores, of course. Frank conquistadores. Frankish conquistadores. I, uh, you know, could try to... Why is everybody converted in one thing? And now we got a lot of knights coming up in here. We got Mangudai. A lot of Mangudai. And conquistadores is moving away. Because they know they will die to this. And five monks in here that could convert Mangudai. Just imagine this uh, combined army of unique units. It would be, it would be nice. Monks just try, just trying to convert everything because of course that will be a heavy loss losing losing wool uh, from the mangoda or just food from the knights is uh, is uh, is difficult is difficult so petals is going to be the chosen uh, weapon for X Factor who now knows what is happening all the way all the way around this maybe X Factor if X Factor came all the way here and attacked from this side and walled his uh, trebuchet or something with with stone walls you know you know it would be uh, Cheeky, but not, not, not cheeky, it would be an interesting way to end the game. Anyways, Castle now plays on this side, and I think that X-Factor might actually have the edge right here. He can just attack this uh, this uh, this castle from, with his trebuchet from this uh, from this uh, distance. He could also kill anything that comes close with his mango. Like maybe these guys are going to eventually become, uh, become cavaliers. Two trebuchets even. Maybe he's going to wait for some more? Not sure, but yeah. Looks like petards are not going to be now his weapon of choice. It's going to be trebuchets. And the mango guy, god damn it, there well he's getting a lot of wood there. 100 wood there. Well he's getting a lot of wood. So it's fine I guess. Right here? He could convert oh look at that. Maybe you don't can convert the ones he's running, right? Well maybe not. Where are these guys going? Well they're going going to go into their depths. Because there is a conquista right here. These guys could actually stab this guy to death. <laughs> they, and they will! And they will try at least! Look at that! Two... Or I wonder if, if, if a monk can come here and try to convert this guy. I wonder if this conquistador will even win! Because now I am kind of doubting. Okay, okay, this conquistador will die. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, it's gone. Now, where are these guys going? Probably to take a little bit of this wood. Just the guy is just uh, waiting for all the wood. 34 says, uh, uh, you don't. Yeah, come. Okay, three trebuchets right here. With all this protection. It is needed. So, you don't, what you can do now is convert whatever he can. He has a, a printing, block printing. The wonder says uh, to the, says you don't. Well, it's, there is no wonder, but, but yeah, your castle is basically the wonder. Now, will these trebuchets be taken down? I don't think they will. I don't think they will. I don't think they. They are in it, Mango Day! How can you afford that? The micro, right now, the micro! Okay, micro is not gonna happen. That's a lot of dead monks, and probably that means game for uh, Euron. But Euron will, will still try, will still try. X Factor now here with his uh, elite mango guy walking all the way around to see what they can kill. Look at this, the classic uh, militia. The militia, militia was many people all the way around the map. Elite mango guy, says Euron. Yeah, elite mango guy. Uh, yeah, they are elite mango guy. They are almost fully upgraded. They use chemistry and probably, um, probably party and tactics as well. But yeah, this is a, this is a problem. How do you deal with that, Euron? If you don't have an economy, really, because I don't think he does have an economy, right? Or does he? He's looking for something. Oh, yeah, he'll find something here. Uh, he could find something, uh, stuff here that his dead enemies left behind. There is not much wood, though. That, don't get me wrong, there is wood, but there is not much wood. This another castle fights the dust. Now, the next thing is going to be this town center. Look at these monks. The gathering point was actually here. So, okay. Let's call it a draw, says Euron, trying to deep lock his way into drawing. But yeah, this guy have a... Do they have a... This guy have... Okay, five minutes. Okay, um... Do these guys have a... Ballistics? Apparently they don't. 
apparently they don't. Because of course, as I said before, it's 300, uh, 300 wood and 175 gold, and I don't think there is a university right here. Not that he needs it really at this point, but okay. The castle, the castle, the town center about to be attacked and villagers ready to repair. But the, but the wood is not going to last forever. As I said before, this is going to take twice the amount of wood to repair. But let's imagine you can just hold this for quite some time. What are you going to do after that? Well, the town center is gone and X Factor is going to be your winner. A trip at a time, please, this Euron. Oh god, Euron. Well, that's it. One more shot and Euron was defeated. He lasted a long time, but I think that when he came here and lost all his strengths, then that was it. He could have had... It's fact, welcome to the party! Oh, guys. Okay, what I was uh, what I was thinking is that maybe Euron, if Euron decided not to come all, uh, this way, but here, and wall his trebuchet while attacking this town center, that would have been good. X-Factor cannot see the price of wood for some reason. Uh, oh, oh, no, you, you, you can, just... Uh, what, what is the word? Um, uh, combat economy, alt error. Okay, X-Factor says that 400 is the price of, uh, of, of food, wood right now. Well, that is a... Uh, it's not as much as I would expect, but it's still a lot. Euron didn't give up, uh, Berak. Euron didn't give up. He he died because of the town center, because of the town center. But it was a nice, uh, well fought. You just killed seventy four for X Factor. And what I really want to see right now, the one who lost most is uh, Euron. Where is buildings? Yomi they lost the killed the most buildings. But I want to see the economy. X Factor nine thousand food. 3,000 wood. Look at this. Where else do you see a game in which the maximum amount of wood of a game that lasted more than one hour is 3k? 3k. Stone collected, the same thing for Euron and X-Factor. Gold collected, 23,000 for X-Factor, 21,000 for Euron. Probably most of it came because of the relics, right? Where are, where are the relics? Right here. 13 relics for X-Factor and 8 relics for Euron. 7k and 4... Okay, it was not because of the relics. Uh, technology, uh, first one to get to the feudal age was Hoy, first one to the castle was X Factor, first one to the Imperial was Euron. He was there alone for a long time in the Imperial age. Percentage of the map explored 84 for X Factor and 27 Research Canon Society. The most amount, the, the, the biggest amount of castle was Euron with 8, and Release Capture 17 for X Factor, that we already saw 7, almost AK a gold for him, and Billion High goes for Joby. But yeah, this is something that surprises me the most. 3,000 wood was the most amount collected in 1 hour and 6 minutes. I, if, we, if we just add all this wood, probably we can get to 10k and that's it. Uh, society, okay, we can see that. And the timeline, well, Euron was in a good position once he took, uh, once he took Joby. But uh, I think that, once again, I think that the attack that Euron made here just killed him. He had a, a huge advantage with the trebuchets and everything. He could have just came all the way here, once again I say, and attack from this side, but maybe he needed a little bit more exploration. But after all this push came, well, that was really hard to come back. I think that it would have been a good idea to just assign one group command to each of his monks and try to convert as many Mangudai as he could. He had like eight monks, so he could have converted eight of these guys. Would have been a, a, what turned the tables probably, because attacking these trebuchets, attacking these knights would have been good. But yeah. Heresy OP, says our Euro. Oh! X Factor had Heresy, I didn't see that! Okay then! <laughs> okay then! Uh, well, let's go back! 